everyone, I'm Megan Mahan from InsureMe and it's time for the Agent Blog Wrap Up. Now let's get to this week's stories. This week, Mutual of Omaha announced that they'd be entering the world of banking. That's a pretty bold move. So we decided to ask some folks around the office what they thought of an insurance company slash bank. Strangely, no one had any feelings about it one way or the other. So much for breaking news. The world of insurance sales is hard. Every once in a while, you come across a bona fide jerk. <laughs> bona fide, whatever. To deal with these so-called jerks, it's important to try not to judge them based on their current behavior and instead try to empathize with them. Ooh, empathy. You're really testing that empathy here, Jeb. Read our full article on dealing with jerks, just like I did with Mr. Cranky Pants here. Your pants are a crank cranky. If you're thinking about starting your own insurance agency, you're probably thinking about writing a business plan. But is a business plan really necessary? According to venture capitalist and cool blogger Guy Kawasaki, detailed business plans are overrated. Instead, he recommends keeping your business plan limited to 10 to 20 pages, spending no more than two weeks writing it, and using the business plan to get your team on the same page. Check out our post for more tips on business plans. Insurme leads are really great. They're real time. They're fresh. They're high quality. They're in your area. If you're an insurance agent and you don't have Insurme leads, you can't afford to stay in business. They're the best thing. You know what they say about the ABCs of sales. Always be closing. But if you are turned off by that spiel, you can see why ABC isn't a great methodology to live by. Check out Mary Beth's post to learn how to close a sale without freaking out your prospects. This week, Jeb McDreamy Foster wrote a story about some legal happenings in Rhode Island, which led us to wonder, does the state of Rhode Island even exist? We sent Peter D. out to investigate. Thanks, Megan. I'm here in Rhode Island. Wait. All right, now I'm here in Rhode Island, which does in fact exist. I stayed in a Motel 6, which is located almost entirely within the state borders, and received this shower cap which is partial proof of Rhode Island's existence. Another piece of evidence is that Rhode Island made two New Year's resolutions this year. One was to come up with a flag and the other an official state motto. There's only one stone in Rhode Island, so they had to get both birds simultaneously, which they did here. The state motto is hope. Back to you, Megan. Thanks, Peter. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Megan Mahan from Insure Me. Well, and thanks, Peter. Okay, I'm Megan Jeb. Mahan from Insure Me. Jeb. I think I'm so cool doing the All right, Jeb. Asian blog wrap-up on the do, YouTube. That's good. <laughs> thanks, Jeb. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Insure Me? All right. Ooh, I'm Megan Mahan from Insure Me. I'm so cool doing the agent blog wrap up on YouTube. Okay. So cool.